Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> See, even the one they put in here, they sent to you, it's not. Mm -hmm. Throw up some gang signs. Here we go. That's the best. Life doesn't give you bumpers. Why do we need to give them the bumpers? That's a quote from uh, Boyhood. Let me go. I don't want to be your okay, so hero. Movies that made us cry. We were talking about movies that made you cry. Me, Castaway. Castaway made me cry. Um, not when he was cast away, because I've been single a lot of times. I feel like him on the island sometimes with a long beard. Right. And I have a breakup. I have a breakup beard sometimes. And you can see that on the channel in some of the older videos, my beard. <laughs> but but um, when he comes back and Kelly Frears, his wife, is married to Spalding, and they have the reconciliation in the rain. Right? And she's like pouring her heart out, telling her that gets me. The music. And at the very end when he's crying, I mean, his friend is crying, I think. And he's just telling her about being passed. I'll put it on me. I don't know. So mine. <clears throat> you don't know you want to turn it off? You want to turn it off? Um. So, I don't know, mine. I don't know what the ones that most people would be thinking about. Toy Story. Tell me that again, but we'll talk about mine. Um, yeah, and then they're all holding hands here. This is the one that gets me. The little dude got stuck in that toy machine. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one that gets me. Meryl Streep, Iron Lady. You ever heard of it? I have. Um, okay. It's been a long time. Here. It's terrible. Like, in the beginning of it, she's still alive and it's in the 2010s. And she's going down to the market to see the price of milk. And she's looking at the screen and it's talking about terrorism. And then it goes back and it goes back to the very beginning and how she got started in politics to the end where she's um, evading the Secret Service or the, the Parliament Guard or whatever you call it to go out and just see what, what the world is like. But like just for just to go to the market and come back. And that's like a big deal. But then what made me cry though about that movie, which is Margaret Thatcher, the Prime Minister, her husband, her husband died. Anytime a person dies in a movie, her husband died. Right. And she, yeah, exactly. And she is looking at his clothes, smelling his clothes, looking into the hallway and imagining him how we used to walk over there. And he's imagining her being, that just gets me. It's just her looking at the clothes got me. My grandma, the same year that, oh no, 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 that was 2011. My grandma cried um, looking at my grandpa's clothes, holding my grandpa's clothes with me dad. And uh, it was my fault because I left her alone with the clothes. And, um, and that was crazy. Like, if she needed the good cry, though. I felt it was okay. She needed to cry. She hadn't cried for 10 days after he died. And just started folding his clothes. And that made me that, that got me. Um, people say that movie with um, Robin Williams, August something, is really, is really sad. August Rain or something like that. I don't know. August Rain. Uh, August, August Rush. People say that's... Well, he's, that he's a homeless guy that plays a violin. That's supposedly sad. Hmm. There's a soloist where Jamie Foxx plays the violin, and then there's the one where Robin yeah. Williams plays the violin. That's really sad. Well, the violin is a very emotional instrument. It can be, yeah. absolutely. Um. <laughs> Especially in Psycho. Wee, 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 wee. Just kidding. Mm -hmm. um, no, oh, you know what Cersei can make me cry on cue? What's that? I don't know about now. It used to be able to make me cry, but now that they really killed it, it's not, it's not cool anymore, the Fast and Furious movies. The last one was terrible. I walked out on the theater hall. Because, because in the middle of the movie, they're like, what in the fresh turkey hell? <laughs> I was like, that's what this movie is, a fresh turkey. It was just terrible. But um, the dialogue is what gets you. The first movie has a great dialogue point. I live my life a quarter mile at a time. And then salud mi familia. And then... Um, 
part seven, when he dies, uh, he had he had died in real life, and then they have the CGI Paul Walker playing with his family, right. and I had not noticed the first time watching it that throughout the movie he's CGI. I noticed at the end how he was CGI, but he's CGI throughout the entire movie, especially the action scenes. And um, you can see him like his reflection looking like that, and he's looking, he's, he's driving like that, and they play See You Again, and that gets me. See You Again. Oh, another movie that made me cry, just the song itself, is this movie Inside Loon Davis from the Coen Brothers, directed um, Fargo, uh, that funny movie with Nicolas Cage where he steals the baby, Raising Arizona, they directed No Country for Old Men, they won four Oscars. It's uh, at least four. It's um, Inside Lewin Davis. Lewin is spelled L-E-W-Y-N. And it's with Justin Timberlake. And uh, the guy from Star Wars, Oscar Isaac. I've heard of that one, but I haven't seen it. And the songs in that are so depressing. Hang me, oh, hang me. I'll be dead and gone. Hang me, oh, hang me. I'll be dead and gone. Wouldn't mind the hanging but they lay in the grave so long, poor boy, all around this world. And this one that really makes me cry, and the, and the part of the chorus, I'm getting emotional just thinking about it, it says, With pouring rain in my heart was an aching pain. That was, that makes me sad. Boyhood makes me cry, the song from Boyhood. Have you seen Boyhood? Heard of it? I've heard of it, but I haven't seen it. It's filmed over 12 years, from kindergarten to 12th grade, of this guy growing up, this actor growing up, and becoming a man. And I don't know why this song went to the crime movie. It's a movie. It's a lot of stuff. It's called My Family of the Year. The song's called Hero. And yeah. So we're talking about a lot of stuff. See so, ya. Yeah. We're here at Sam's Town talking about life. This version of water. <laughs> no. I'm really bad at that. I'm really bad at not knowing the line of um, being too much of a girl. Or that I lose chances with girls. I'm not too much of a girl on purpose. So, when is the point where you have to be like, okay, let me take that next step? So, you, well, you get to know her. You get to know her likes, her dislikes. Oh, but she, but I mean, you build them already so, for years, and you're still friends. So, like I said, you bring her a bouquet of flowers that you have picked. Please don't buy them. They're really not thoughtful. When you pick them, it shows that you're thinking dollars. of her. That's an example. It's, right. It's just an example. Um, she, you don't even have to bring her anything at all. Just, you know, just come over and tell her, hey, look, go get dressed. We're going to go for a night on the town. But it's something that you picked out based on her likes and needs. But you have it planned, you know? It's like, you know, it's romantic. We could go out for dinner and we'll be dancing. I still don't think romanticism for girls and sex would have best for guys. I don't think girls are romantic. But a guy I always thinks that romance is going to lead to sex. No, even oh, romance well, is the, exactly what you said, the flowers, the, the super date, you know, I'm mother with fireworks, a big show, you take them on a plane like that movie Aviator. And that's all great, but it doesn't have to be anything like over the top and extravagant. I know, you're always just... bad at that. <laughs> you want to, you want to like make it a big seat. See, and exactly, when you guys do it, you try too hard and you wind up blowing them. And they say, no. I had a... A girl, I'm still hung up on. Caroline Rabbit from Norway. She's an exchange student. And she's been reading my messages over the years that I send her on, on, on Messenger, Facebook. And she hasn't responded because she's in a relationship. She's been living with someone this whole time, I just found out. She's been living with someone this whole time for years. Ever since she friended me on Facebook. And then I started, every couple of years that we run the holidays, we're shopping. Holidays are really write her a dear John. You know, I realized that I still like it. I asked her out to the prom. We took pictures of the prom together, but we didn't technically go together. So you do know that a Dear John letter is like, I'm leaving you and... But it could be a lot of stuff. It's a comical letter. 
You said John, a dear John. <laughs> yeah, usually a dear John letter. I'm breaking up with you and I'm running away. I know, but to me, me a dear John is just any funny <laughs> letter that you, a romantic letter. So I'm ready to write these messages and stuff. Uh, my point was, is that, yeah, I'm still hung up on her. And the, the big gesture thing, I told her about that. I was like, what if I was to do fireworks and have a big, and buy a big sign that says, will you go to the problem? Mm. And she said, what would you do? And I said, I would say that was nice, but no. <laughs> wow. Yeah. yeah, what do you think about that? Yeah. Caroline Rabbit <laughs> on Facebook. She's a CEO now. She's really... She's really successful. She works in finance. I think you need to leave that poor woman alone before you wind up getting harassment charges or something. Oh, yeah, we're friends. What do you mean? Someone wants to lie, talk to us. We were good friends. We always talked to us. Why is that stalking? But didn't you say that she was living with someone? I just found out and I apologized. I just found out. That was my last message. I found out that she was living with someone because I looked her up on the internet and I translated an interview she did with someone. And it said that she was flagging. She was flagging. And that means that you're living with somebody for... And it's like being married, but you're just living co- cohabitation. See where I come from. Flagging means something. <laughs> what did I say? I just... I forgot the word. It's not the right Norwegian word, but it was like... I'm flagging, 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 flagging. So here, flagging means something different. I don't know. Don't Urban Dictionary that. Don't Urban Dictionary that. It's not Urban Dictionary. It's a PDF down. Do your research. Who is the, no, seriously, <laughs> Isabel likes that. Izzy Ryan, my friend from So I'm Sorry with from South Korea. She said, Mark, that if you want to do with me, you have to choke me and punch me in the stomach. <laughs> so we never did. The most I ever did was kiss her on the neck. <laughs> so we, we snuggled sometimes. But that was about it. Because that, that, I'm very gentle with that. <laughs> Why do people do that? So there's some people that get off on the pain. There's others that get off on causing the pain. But how borderline is that? I would get that. Put in jail for that. Right? If it's consensual, then. <laughs> if it's consensual. But like if you just fall off cons- choking her out and you know punching her in the stomach and you're No, it would always be. It would always be. It would be uh, pulling punches. It would be like WWE. So. Personally, I'm not into the game. But you're into flea flogging. Didn't say I was. I said I knew what it was. It was indifferent. Flea and flogging. So, honestly, I'm into eating ass. I'm going down and going down. And I told my friend that, Crystal. She's lesbian. She's like, no, dude. <laughs> she thinks she liked it, but then I said that. Because she said, this sucks ass. So I'm like, I like sucking ass. I haven't done it, though. But I really want it. Because I, I watch it on floor. So it looks really cool. I haven't done it in, in since many years, actually. So, but I, I'm like, if all done the way, right way, it's really good. Um, but you, I'm scared to do it. Though. You also have to have a partner that you know has washed that shit. I'm scared though. I'm scared to do it. It's a lot of blood pressure. Lot of pressure. <laughs> you ever seen Happy Gilmore? Of course. Here's here's a quote. There's not an Adam Sandler movie that I have not seen. It's a lot of pressure, Happy. But you gotta rise above it. Artists in the good energy, block out the bad. Is there always like the TV cameras and people and stuff? Oh yeah. Harness energy block bad. It's like a carousel. You put it in the quarter, and it goes up and down and around. Circular, circle, the music, the flow. All good things. You gotta know how to use your tongue to write the ABCs. Hold on, let me get to You see, he just dips out like that. Apparently, what not to do in craps is you're not supposed to actually hit a seven. I didn't know this. No, you piss off the whole table and you make them all lose. But Maybe I'm purposely wanting to get the But if you put insurance on the seven and you hit it, then you can win money. You still piss everybody off. And... Hey, Brittany, this is your favorite game right here, Madonna. Just kidding. So, um, no, uh, let me pop that. My mom hates that I'm smoking. Your no, mom. smoke, are you? Blow it in the camera. So, this is just a short little vignette. 
with me and whatever your name is, Miss Wendy. Really, whatever my name is. You forgot already. Forgot already. Thanks, Marco. I'm a guy. I'm for, I pretend to forget. I pretend to forget so you look cool. I guess snake eyes. I guess snake eyes. We're playing with souvenirs. Don't get us a drop. We're playing with souvenirs. What are we wagering? Cigarettes? No, we're just playing with souvenirs. We're fooling around with souvenirs. We gotta make it sound all dirty. Deuces, baby.